Hey everybody and welcome to my shop. The last couple of weeks I've been thinking about a problem that I had basically ever since I started having a workshop and that is storage. Coming up with a clever and functional storage system is so hard because you need to find a common denominator for a bunch of objects that all vary in size, function and shape. So the way I've been dealing with it so far is I bought a cabinet I filled up the cabinet until it's full and then I moved on to the next cabinet which leads me to having a bunch of different storage systems that have nothing to do with each other and basically I'm the only person who knows where to find what in this shop which is okay until you start working with other people and you have friends over and then that leads to me just running around trying to find tools, objects, materials, consumables for everybody who's working with me and not working myself because I'm just looking for stuff. So I challenged myself to come up with a system that is so logical that everybody can find what they're looking for in my shop. And I think I found a good system. It is based on these plastic bins called Euro crates. I think they're called milk crates in the States or fruit crates. I'm not sure. Here in Germany, we call them Euro crates and you can get them everywhere. You can buy them new at the factory, you can buy them on Craigslist. The way I did it is that I looked for the nearest factory who produces these crates and then I called them up and asked if they have production rejects. That way I could get them a little bit cheaper and it feels better because I'm not, I'm not buying plastic, I'm more recycling the rejects. So it felt better to me. They are fantastic because they are stackable, super sturdy, big enough to fit most of my equipment and they come in different colors. That is very important for my organization system, but I will talk about that in the next video. In this video, I want to talk about the organization of all the small bits and bobs in these big crates. I decided to go with CNC foam inlets. The reason for the two colors is one, it is a lot easier to see all the little stuff against the blue background than a black background. It also gives a nice contrast, so when I cut out the silhouette of a tool, I can see right away what's missing. To cut the foam, I used these three fluted cutter bits. They work fantastic. And I took advantage of the two CNC systems I have. On the one side, I have the Stepcraft Q204, and on the other side, I have my Shaper Origin. Both machines have different strong suits. The Stepcraft is a workhorse. I used her, her name is Lulu, for all the shapes that are repetitive and all the big cutouts. So for the past three days, Lulu did her thing and got most of the inlets done while I was working on more inlets with my Shaper Origin. The advantage of the Shaper for me is that you can create paths right in the machine. Since I'm still struggling with building vectors and using the computer in general, I took the lo-fi approach and simply laid out everything on the foam, drew around it and followed the lines with the pen tool of the Shaper. So basically, Lulu is super independent. She just needs to know what she has to do right from the start. And once you tell her what to do, she goes off by herself. The Shaper is a little bit more flexible and spontaneous, um, but you are the motor of the Shaper, so you need to be with him all the way. But you can make up your mind while you're cutting it. And that's why I used him for the more complicated inlets, because I could see how things fit change them maybe a little bit and just 
do it as I go. So yeah, at the end of the day, both systems worked hand in hand very, very nicely. So let's take a look at all the inlets that I've cut so far. Well, this is obviously a work in progress, but that's also the beauty of it because I will never run out of cabinet space. This system is super expandable. But this is just the start. In the next video, I will talk to you about the color system that I came up with that will make it so easy to find my tools with just taking a look at the color of the bin. I am excited to hear your opinion on that. And I need a solution for the less delicate but small parts like screwdrivers. I don't want to cut foam inlets for each and every screwdriver that I have. So I'm thinking maybe little boxes that part the crates in different sections. Yeah, that will be a video too. So if you like this whole shop storage thing and if you're interested in my new system, make sure to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss the next video. And now I want to thank Stepcraft for supporting my work and supporting this video. Not only did they bring Lulu into my life, and I love her so, so much, they're also fantastic at customer support and troubleshooting. And that is usually not their trouble, that's my trouble. So thank you guys for being there and thank you for supporting my work. And I wanna thank you guys for watching this video and I really hope I see you next week with a new video. Bye.